Welcome back to another exercise. Here we are going to start with front plane and at the center you will see this at the center there is a circular half circular body. This radius if I will show you 60 and inside 50. So, I will create start from this and if you see top view the width of this half circular body 80 millimeter. Now simply I will choose any one plane. So, I am going to select front plane sketch. Now activate circle tool, draw one circle, activate line tool, make it half, ok. Make sure it is. Now let me choose trim entity, activate power trim, just press left drag. Uh, press left mouse and drag and it will trim. Say ok. Now activate the smart dimension and define this 60 millimeter ok. Now center line click and convert it into construction geometry. Now activate extruded boss base feature. Now see this is open geometry open profile so that is why it took here thickness thin feature activated. Now the direction is going one direction ok we want one direction but let us say inside because our outside radius now inside radius 50 so the difference between 50 and 60 is 10 millimeter so that is it and here we need to define 80 millimeter but keep end condition mid plane everything as it is say ok if you check evaluate measure and if I am going to select this inside edge and you will see radius 50 ok. Now here comes this circle, let us zoom 40 outer inside 20 millimeter distance 110 millimeter from here this is in line. If you see top view the width is 70 from mid plane. So again I am going to activate front plane sketch activate circle tool and uh, let us activate dimension 40 millimeter let us define this center distance 110 millimeter say yes. Now it is still green means it is not fully constrained hold shift key select these two center points and define constraint or relation horizontal look it is fully defined extrude. Now here you can activate thin feature, I will activate thin feature see reverse direction, we want only one direction so keep one direction and here the main thing is thickness, this is diameter. So thickness means this wall thickness if we add 10 millimeter it is going to be 20 diameter inside. Now here end condition keep mid plane and the width is 70 millimeter look say yes again go to evaluate measure and select inside edge and you will see here 20 diameter that is what we need ok. You will see here this 20 depth there is one hole 20 millimeter this is a kind of flange 50 width it is located at the center of this there is 16 diameter hole corner radius 10 and it is fixed with this outer circular face I will show you how go bottom sketch activate corner rectangle Now define this gap or simply do one thing just drag this to up to here coincide mid plane keep both relation 50 and uh, this distance from center edge is 100 80 plus 20 it is 100. 
because there is circular edge. If you start from this edge, it will not perfectly match this. So, I will tell you how extrude. Now, keep end condition blind, depth 20, but it is going reverse direction. So, simply click and change the direction. Okay. No need to change anything else. Say yes. Now, look. There is an unnecessary body inside. So, right click on tab and edit. check this box direct editing and here you will find face delete. I will choose face delete. Selection bar check delete and patch. Once the thing delete the parallel edge will be patched. Show preview. So, select this one, two, three, four. Don't select this inside it because this is continuous face. Say OK. Look, it is perfectly deleted and patch also. Go to sketch. Even if you simply click on edge, it will show you two options fillet, chamfer, activate fillet. Keep here fillet type first, constant size, full preview, tangent propagation, and fillet symmetric. And the radius 10 millimeter and now I am going to choose these two edges. Say yes. If you want to add either make direct hole or you can make hole wizard. Activate here this hole. Metric. Drill size. And this is 16 diameter. Now here you have to define end condition. Let us say through all. Position. Click this face, place somewhere, escape key to out of this selection, activate smart dimension, not start dimension from this center point 20 millimeter. Okay. Now hold shift key and make relation. Select the origin point and center of the circle, horizontal, isometric view. Look. Now this is going to trim up to here because the last end of this face is going to be collinear say yes look it's time to add this one 60 first we have to add one plane now look the things clearly this width 60 millimeter if you calculate 10 10 20 10 is 50 minus 60 it's this is going to be 10 millimeter this face from this age now this is 105 so if you subtract 10 it is 95 okay 95 and minus 80 so you will get the distance from this center point 95 minus 80 it's going to be 15 millimeter and this center distance from bottom is to the center of the circle 150 and what is the diameter of this 56 millimeter okay let's create this Okay, let me create plane, right plane because this is the plane. Now here keep distance 15 but reverse side, flip offset. Okay, this is what we calculated. Sketch on plane. Now this diameter radius 50, so uh, 28 into 2. And distance from origin, this is going to be 150. It's still drawing not fully defined, so make relation. Hold shift key and select center point of circle and origin point, make relation vertical. Okay, now activate extruded boss base. Now keep end condition blind and width of the this solid body is 40, 60 actually, reverse direction say yes let me hide this now there is one more body here you will see up outer radius 15 inside there is a circle 15 diameter okay and distance here shown from center to center 40 millimeter width 35 millimeter okay you will see it is located at the exactly the center of this body 
then you will see here one cutout radius r 10 and 5 millimeter gap let's activate front plane sketch activate line tool let me draw one center line make sure let's say this is construction line now activate main line now go back to the point again it will automatically convert this uh, line into arc place again it continue and it will be a line activate circle now let's define the dimension now distance from here to here it's 40 millimeter outer radius 15 and diameter inside and distance from this edge is 60 divided by 2 it's 30 now this is going to be fully defined sketch see isometric view activate extruded boss base feature Keep end condition mid plane so that it will move in both side. Now depth is 35 millimeter. Make sure you merge otherwise it will become a second body. So always keep try to always keep merge result. Look. Okay this center circle we will create at the end. It's time to create this close body. You will see 10 millimeter 20 10 10. 25 50 and these edges are tangent to this and inside radius also 10 10 and this you will see the gap between this 10 and this width is like up to this diameter you will see here it is located at the tangent position front plane a sketch Activate line tool and draw one. Okay, that's fine. Now convert hold shift key set convert this outer edges. Okay, activate line tool. Come here and go back to the point and see it is all automatically converted into arc. So place this point. Now hold shift key and select these two arcs tangent activate dimension 50 now let's activate the outer one and again can go to this select this out arc and this arc tangent activate smart dimension and this is going to be 25 that's it now let's define few more thing This is going to be 10 millimeter and the similar one here also going to be 10 millimeter. Okay. Now we will use offset fillet 10 millimeter. I'll choose let's say select chain. I'll choose this line. See this is going to be here. Say okay. Again activate. I'm going to choose this one. Reverse direction. But in this case, I don't need select chain, so I'll I need up to here only. So uncheck the chain box, and the last one, this one, convert. Sorry, offset, and I'll choose this edge. See here, 10 millimeter add dimension. Say yes. Now, it's time to trim. I'll activate power trim. Just press left mouse and drag see it's going to trim keep it don't trim this just find out okay this is we don't need even this is also we don't need this is also we don't need and inside these lines okay this is going to be perfect okay activate line tool and close this because this is close from here to here Again activate line tool and close this geometry so that we will get a close profile. 
okay still this is there is one more close profile so activate trim entity power trim drag left mouse press and drag and delete now this is fully closed geometry activate sketch fillet 10 millimeter and select these two edges say yes look this is what we need activate extruded ball this look it is automatically selected this close profile now this is going to be 28 into 2 it's 56 millimeter but keep end condition mid plane because it's going to move in both sides rest as it is look now here let's make a hole keep hole drill size let's say 20 end condition up to next position select this face move cursor near edge and you will see center point place escape key to out of this selection say yes look the hole is created sketch activate line tool and let's connect from this center point to end point of this edge activate extruded cut now end condition select through all both okay see it is going to be cut through all both thin feature normal look this is going to be cut in one direction so here i am going to choose mid plane and distance center distance only 5 millimeter look the thickness going to be 5 millimeter and going to cut in both side and through all look that's it let me define some color here okay metal polished metal this face click double click polished metal select the hole click double click polished metal and this is going to be okay So this is the our simple exercise in SOLIDWORKS. I hope you like it. Don't forget to share and like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in SOLIDWORKS. Thanks for watching.